Hi, my name is Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the uh, How to Linux Research Labs. And today's video is titled How to Install Snap, SnapD, Trading View, and Snap Store on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's my Pop installation 2204. Okay. And I'm going to install Snap on here, and I'm going to use, and then I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to use Snap to install a Trading View. It's an app. It's a program uh, to allow stock trading, and then I'm going to install the uh, the Snap Store, which is a GUI store for your local desktop. Now I don't think that um, Snap has the ability like Flat, where you can download a Snap package and pass it into the Snap runtime. So like in Flatpak, you can download a flat um, program, you know, package with a dot flat pack or whatever it is extension, and you can run that into your flat pack engine in your terminal. You can't do that with Snap, I don't think. You can either just download it via terminal or from or from your local Snap store here. Okay, so we're going to install the Snap store and and Trading View after we install Snap. Okay, so all this pretty much has to be done in the terminal. So let's go to the terminal here. Okay. Now the first step we're gonna, first we're going to have to make sure that Snap is is installed. Okay. I mind it's installed, but I can still still run through the um, steps to install it, and it'll come up saying it's already installed or whatever. So it ain't gonna like install it because it's already installed, but it'll just say that it's already installed. But if you follow these inst these steps, then if you don't have it on yours, then it'll go ahead and actually install, you know, download and install whatever we're trying to install. Okay, so the, the first step is a simple just update the system before we do anything else. Standard update, APT cache. Okay, so everything's um everything's everything's up to date and clear there. So we're we're good there. We can clear on that. And then the next step, then we can go ahead and use APT to install Snap or SnapD. We're going to install SnapD, but when we're working with Snap, it's actually going to just be the Snap keyword command. Okay, so we're going to use APT to install SnapD. Now this D stands for daemon. It's like the underlying service that allows Snap to actually exist on your system and to actually work. So we're going to go ahead and install snapd with apt and as you can see it's already installed 2.58 so if you don't have it it'll go ahead and download it and install it but we've already got it okay so snap is installed already so I can go ahead and clear on that and then just use snap to get the version that way we can verify that it actually is installed and on the path all the paths are right and that it's installed properly and ready ready to be used. Okay, good. 2.6. I do believe on the other screen it did say 2.58. So I'm not really quite sure what the little discrepancy there was. I think I caught where it said 2.58. But um, either way, we'll go with 2.60 here. And either way, you know, Snap's probably ready to be used at this point. Okay, so Snap is in, Snap is installed. That's all that it took to install Snap, the Snap engine on on Pop. Okay, so we can clear on that, and then we can go ahead and go. We have to use sudo to use Snap, so we're going to go into a sudo session there, and a, just a basic install command here, no dash i or anything um, unique to Snap, just a regular install. Word uh, command there option, and then as um, as an argument to the install, it'll be trading view. Now, okay, there it goes. Okay, so sudo snap install trading view. Okay, so then we're gonna key in. We're gonna enter on that and let it download. It might take a little while, so I'll come back when it's finished. But you can see it's starting. It's starting to download and then go through the installation process. So it looks good to this point. Okay, and the 
installed. Looks like it installed properly. Took a few moments, but it's been installed. 2.50. Now I can verify that I've been to the Snapcraft, Snapcraft website, and this is the most current version that they have. So, you know, as far as training is concerned, um, I did a little research and I really couldn't find anything else to install from, like flat pack or app image or from source. No, I didn't see a link to the GitHub repository. Uh, certainly, it, it wasn't in the pop shop, and I don't think it's in the pop repo. So we pretty much stuck with um, snaps. So and then, so we should also, since snaps is the only way to do it, you should know that there's two ways of doing it. It's either like this in the command line, or you can also go ahead and. Install. I already have it installed here. Snap star. Same thing. Uh, sudo snap install, and then snap dash store. This will install install the snap. Let's see what it says when I enter on it. I already have it installed. So it, yeah, okay, already installed. Okay, good. So and then like I said in Flatpak, you can go to the to, to the Flathub uh, online repo. Download a flat package and then pass it into. So you, you probably you know you put zero flat pack or just flat pack, and then you would be in the directory where you save that flat pack package, and then you just pass the package name into the flat pack runtime, and it would install. I don't think you can do that with Snap. At least that's I haven't seen that. So with flat pack you have three different ways, and with Snap only two I think. Okay, so click on that. And then minimize that. And then uh, here's my snap score here. And I already have training view pulled up, so you could do it this way as well. Well, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I do believe that once it's installed, see up here, that's the same information that we already know about 2.5, the version, and whatnot. There's only one version available. I think that once you install it, well, actually, once you install it to the snap store, I mean, I need to refresh it because I just come up here and and, um, and do the um, and manage the snap permissions like what it can or can't access on your local file system. Let me try something. Let me um, let me let me close this out here, kind of refresh it, and go back into it. And it's already installed, so let's see if it shows up installed this time. In the real trading view. Okay, it is installed. Okay, yeah, so that changed. And then, okay, see, this was in here before. Okay, so I was right. You can, this stays the same as far as the, um, the drop down giving you the versions. Sometimes they give you different versions, older versions, more experimental versions that are kind of in beta, beta or whatever. But here, just one single version. Okay, so that's the, real, that's the only one, that's the only game in town here. So that's good there. Now, this was in here before. So we come over here and manage permissions. Click on that. Now this snap doesn't have um, a separate uh, application like Flatpak does for managing permissions. Flatpak has you know, a flat seal, and there's even a new one called Flat Soup where you can actually use a GUI program to uninstall Flatpaks. Snap doesn't even have all that, as far as I know. They don't have a dedicated program to manage permissions. It's actually in the snap store here. And, and I don't know if they have a, 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 a GUI as well to um, to remove. You just have to remove it through the snap store or, or through the command line. So you come over here. And it doesn't look like there's a lot, but there's there's some permissions here that you can um, mess around with and tweak as you need. So okay, so that that is permissions there. Okay, so that's good. That's good to know here. Permissions for the snap packages. Okay, so. Okay, so you install Trading View, and I'll show you how, how to install Snapstar, and, and use the permissions there, okay, and then get the, the, the version for Snap as well. So everything is pretty good, and just one last thing to do, go into the applications here, and let's try to find, let's spot Trading View. Okay, here it is here, okay, so you'll click on that. And then wait for it to open. Go ahead and close.
close this up, get some extra space here. Okay, now I don't have an account. I don't have an account, so I'm not going to unlock logins. I don't have an account yet. Okay, so it's been installed and it's been launched and it's full screen mode here. Okay, everything looks like it's um, available, nothing's grayed out or frozen or anything. Everything looks good. Okay, we'll minimize there. Okay, good. It goes down to the dock. Minimize the dock. Back up. Okay, yeah, it's not freezing. No problems. At least on my, on my system. It's doing uh, what it should, what I expect it to do. Minimize, maximize over and over a couple times. And it's not freezing. In other words, when I go to this thing here, I minimize it, I'm able to restore it again with no problem. So. Okay, so that's uh, now I haven't really poked around with the menu and everything, but we have to get, you can look, well, let's see, I'm trying to get the, the version, but like I said, I don't, I'm not familiar, I'm not familiar with this um, interface yet, so, but I'm pretty sure it's 2.50, and you can verify that I'm wrong later. Now let me, let me try one more look, it will X that out, and in case you can't launch it from, by the, the, um, you know, the, by, by the green method. Let's see if this, um, let's see if this snap package is launchable from the command line. Okay, so we key in trading view. Okay, then we um, enter on that. And that looks like it's uh, working as well. Okay, so that's good too. Okay. So you can do it that way even with the snap. Okay. And then uh, same thing, um, maximize it, full screen it, minimize it, go back up, everything looks like it's active, go back down one more time, go back up, and everything looks good, okay. Now this way I wouldn't really um, recommend doing it, because you have to keep this open, and you, 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 um, you have to dedicate this, this entire screen, a tab, whatever, this window, to this program. If you kill that, you kill this. If you kill the terminal process, you kill the front end. So it, it just adds a little bit of clutter to your workflow. You have to keep this open. One good thing about it is that when you uh, launch it from the terminal, you can get some output here, some system system calls or whatever. And if it doesn't launch, and you do it, come here and launch it, and then if it doesn't launch here, you might get some, some uh, errors to, that to help you debug. The, uh, the program on why it won't launch. Okay, so I'll uh, go ahead and X that out. And then that gets rid of that trading view. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so um, that was how to install uh, Snap, Snap B, Trading View, and the Snap Store, and then get the version. And that was all done on Pop OS Linux 22.04. And then, uh, you know, we. Um, Showed you how different ways of uh, launching it from the command line or from the GUI. And got into a little bit about the flat pack that you really can't do some things here in staff that you can do in flat, like download the flat pack package. That's definitely a little bit more flexibility, I think, to be able to do that way. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you how to go to the staff store and check the permissions. That's also important, too. Because it's it's uh, apparently it's containerized and whatnot, like that's what snaps are all about. So whatever the default permissions are, whether it's got full access to your file system or it has none, and you have to you know, either uh, give it permissions or, or withdraw some permissions and tweak it so that it has just the permissions and access to your system that, that you want, whatever balance you want there. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, that was how to install Snap, Snap B, Trading View, and Snap Star on Pop OS Linux at twenty point zero four. And yeah, and also we also tried to you know maximize and minimize and everything look nothing froze, so everything looked good. Okay, so um, I'm Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the uh, Hala Linux Research Labs, and I, I thank you for uh, subscribing and subbing and watching and for your comments and your feedback and until my next video bye bye for now